The humble quick release. Hardly the most glamorous of bicycle parts, but it does a very simple and very important task. It secures your wheels in place. Now, if you don't do this properly, at best, your wheel could come askew and start rubbing on your brake or indeed your frame. And at worst, it could come out altogether, something which obviously you don't want to happen. Now, you might think that using one of these is quite simple, and you would be right. However, if you follow the next steps, you'll make sure that you get it just right. The first thing you want to do is check a couple of things on the quick release itself. Firstly, that the lever action is very smooth. It shouldn't be rough in any way. If it is, you might want to try spraying some lubrication down here just to try and free it up. But if that doesn't work, it might be an idea to replace your quick release. A quick release with a brittle action might mean it's not securing the wheel in place quite as well and there's a greater chance of it rattling loose. Secondly, you should have two cone-shaped springs down the centre of the quick release. Now they don't do anything specific in terms of safety, but what they do do is keep the quick release equidistant away from the wheel, which makes installing it a whole lot easier. So the small part of the cone should be facing in towards the wheel. Before you do anything with the actual quick release, you want to make sure that the wheel axle is firmly in the dropouts of the fork or the frame. Now this job is best done with the bike on the ground so that the weight of it pushes down. And you'll be able to tell when it's in the right place because the tyre should be centred inside the forks or indeed inside the frame at the back. Once that's done, all you need to do is tighten the nut opposite the lever clockwise until you get to a point where the lever here is going to do the rest of the job. Now don't over tighten it, you shouldn't have to use both hands to make sure the lever shuts all the way. What I find is that if I can just about do it with my thumb on its own, that that's just about right. It's not going to rattle loose whilst I'm riding. Although I do have very strong thumbs. Tradition dictates that the quick release levers on road bikes should be on the non-drive side. And this is for the simple reason that at the rear of the bike, it means your hand is well away from the gears, the rear mech, etc. when you're putting on or taking off your wheel and the front just matches the back. However, more and more people that have disc brakes are starting to put their levers on the drive side. Again, for the simple reason, they want their hands as far away from potentially hot discs as they possibly can. And with a lot of manufacturers recalling millions of bikes recently due to a problem whereby if the front quick release comes loose, it can potentially catch on the disc rotor, which makes a dangerous situation potentially even worse. There's no harm in putting it on the drive side. However, I stick with the non-drive side on my road bikes without disc brakes. Something else to consider is the angle at which you close the quick release levers, both from a functional and aesthetics point of view. Now, I personally would recommend that you never tighten it up in line with the fork leg or indeed the chain stays or seat stays at the back. It will close properly, but it will make the job of opening it that much more difficult, especially if you've done it up particularly firmly. Now, with the front one, I tend to angle the lever so it's facing towards the back of the bike, either directly back or upwards at 45 degrees. And this is for the simple reason that if you have it facing forwards, there is the very small potential that it can get snagged on some undergrowth if you're riding in such an area and potentially come open. And similarly, at the back, I tend to have it angled between the chain stay and the seat stay. And again, that's because one of my first ever mechanics told me that there was a potential if I was involved in a crash in a race but didn't come off, that another rider, if they'd hit my bike, could have opened the rear quick release lever. Again, a very small chance that that's going to happen, but you might as well completely nullify the risk. Some companies now are making a slight variation on the traditional open and shut quick release, such as Synchros here. Now, you can't open and shut this lever. All you do to tighten the wheel into place is turn it until it's tight. Now, me being slightly stupid, I assumed that it was almost pot luck at what angle the lever ended up at when you firmly tightened the wheel. However, it's worth noting that you can pull this one away and move it around to wherever you want it to be to have the lever in the right place. Now, if you would like to see Cy Richardson's five minute bike wash, you can find that by clicking just up there. On the other hand, if you would like to see the complete maintenance Monday playlist, we've got it all in one place for you just down there. And if you would like to subscribe to GCN, it's absolutely free. What we've got to do is click on this quick release lever. Or lever. <laughs>